Hey guys, so today I'm going to be filming my February favorites and um, I don't have a lot of stuff but I thought that I would film it anyway so I could just show you guys what I have been loving this month so let's just get into it. First favorite has been this oil-free makeup remover and it is actually the Equate brand one. Um, but it's pretty much, it's like the generic version for the Neutrogena oil-free makeup remover, remover, but it works exactly the same and I think it's like a dollar or two cheaper than the Neutrogena one. So this is the one that I've been loving and using and I'm almost out and not because I use a lot of it, because it actually because it got spilt by my kids. So I'm definitely going to need to repurchase one of these. And I definitely will be, but I have been loving this for all of February and probably will continue to use it for the rest of my life. The second thing I have been loving this month, oh my gosh, I love it so much. I've been wanting to get it for a long time and I finally got it around the beginning of February and I have been using it every day and loving it so much for my under eyes because I have huge bags and under eye circles because I don't get a lot of sleep being a mommy of three and it just is amazing and it is the Garnier Fructis um, Skin Renew Anti-Dark Circle Eraser and it just looks like this and it is just like a little ball roll-on thingy and you just roll it under your eyes like this and I just pat it in and it has um, caffeine in it so it like firms your under eyes and it has like a light concealer. I think that if you like a super heavy heavy concealer you probably would have to put another concealer on top because it is made just for sheer coverage but the fact that it has like the caffeine in it and it f makes your eye under eyes more firm and makes them less swollen and like baggy is just amazing on its own. You guys know I in my other tutorials, I always use the True Match Lumi Foundation by L'Oreal, and I really liked it, but I found that with the Lumi like formula or whatever, my T-zone would get super oily by the end of the day, and it really sucked because I would always have to come home or like if I was out somewhere, touch it up and just redo, like, I don't know, work on the oiliness, and it was so like, ugh, I didn't like it. I loved the foundation, so I would always keep using it, but that was definitely a downside. So I finally went and picked up the regular L'Oreal True Match, just the original um, formula of it, I guess. And I love it so much. It does not give me, it doesn't make my T-zone oily or anything. It lasts me all day. I actually have it in N2 and N3 because I find that I'm like the blend of these two colors if they had like an in 2.5 I think that's what I would be so I just do um, like a drop of this one and a drop of that one and just mix it together to make the perfect match for my skin this highlighter color in the Maybelline Eye Studio copper chick palette is the best highlighter color ever like look at that that is so pretty I love it so much I use it every single day even if sometimes I'll be like oh I'm gonna try to do my eyes only from one palette or something but I always no matter what eyeshadows I use have to come back in with this highlighter color and put it in my inner corners it just makes it in the inner corners of your eyes just glow and stand out and I love that look so much so this is something that I picked up recently in February and it just looked interesting to me honestly I think that I bought it because the name kind of made me laugh it's called push-up bra for your eyebrow. I just thought that that was so funny, like a push-up bra for your eyebrows. I don't know. Anyway, so I picked it up, and this end is like a, um, it's supposed to be like, um, what is it called? Seriously? I don't know. It's supposed to be a color for everybody. Like, anybody is supposed to be able to use this, like, across the board. Which I feel like is kind of weird because, like, you know, someone with black eyebrows probably isn't going to be able to use the same pencil as someone with blonde eyebrows. But I guess this was, like, their good neutral color. So I don't really use this side because I don't find, like, it doesn't, if you can see, can you see that? It doesn't come off like very well so this side was kind of a dud for me but this side is I think supposed to be technically the push-up bra because this is for underneath your brows as like a highlighter and it's kind of like a pinky shade if you 
if you can see that it's like a pinky shade but it blends and becomes seriously literally like a push-up bra for your eyebrows not even kidding like you put it on and it's just wow your arch is like a million times better and sometimes I even will put it up here just I don't know whenever I'm feeling extra archy but amazing. it's worth it to buy this just for this side even though this side is kind of a dud I picked this up as well I've been wanting to try like one of these marker type liquid eyeliners because I'm not I can only use gel liner like whenever I try to use like the op like the twisty open one uh, liquid eyeliners or whatever I can't really do it it ends up like just so shaky and all over but I picked this up because it looked interesting and I thought that it would be cool so it's just like this just like a little marker and it's the liquid eyeliner and it seriously is so amazing for some reason just having like the grip of a marker and being able to draw it on your eyes makes it so much easier it's by NYX and I definitely recommend picking this up if you have a hard time with liquid eyeliner like I do because this made it so much easier do that so moving on to hair favorites I have had a love of my life enter a new love of my life and it is this curling iron by hot tools it's their tapered it goes from like big to small i think it might be like an inch to a half an inch maybe but i got this at ulta and hot tools is definitely my favorite um like hot tool brand ha 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 anyway but the reason why i love this and i didn't even use it on my hair today that's kind of like weird but Anyway, the reason why I love it is because since it does go from big to small, whenever you are taking your hair and you wrap it around like this, obviously, because it's big at the top, it just makes the the curls so much softer. But then by the time it gets to the bottom, it's smaller so it holds better at the bottom. That's my, really my only hair favorite. My next favorite is has been this perfume. Oh my goodness, it's from American Eagle. It's vint it's called Vintage. And it seriously smells so good. And it seriously smells so good and I love it. As you can see, it's like already it's like more than half gone. Definitely this last month, it's pretty much been the only one that I wear. So so yummy. So the next time you're in American Eagle, I would definitely give it a smell roo and pick it up. The last thing that I have that is a favorite is not um, beauty related at all, but I just wanted to share it with you guys, especially if you have a hard time sleeping like me. I bought this uh, Tension Tamer tea, which is like the sleepy time tea, but the Tension Tamer one because I'm a little tense all the time. I have a high stress level. <laughs> anyway, I bought this like probably four months ago or something but I never used it well I tried using it one time and I made it and I never drank it but I finally tried tried this and it is so amazing it tastes so good if you've ever had the Zen tea from Starbucks I feel like it tastes like that it has a similar taste but I honestly like this one better and if you open up the box there is just a like wax paper bag with the tea bags in it and you just um, separate and you just put one tea in they don't have paper or the little strings and stuff to help you know save the planet and whatnot anyway honestly I drank it and I could just feel myself relaxing and just like melting into my bed because it was it honestly works like I always felt like oh, it probably doesn't work it's just tea but excuse me on here it says that it has um, L Lurthro? I don't know. Let me see if I can get that. This right here, it says that it has that in it, which is an Asian herb that's popular for centuries because of the sense and of calm and well-being it imparts. And it also has peppermint, which you guys know that I love peppermint, so that's probably why I'm in love with this tea. I don't even sweeten it or anything. And spicy ginger and tangy lemons, which I also love lemons. So it is so tasty and it honestly helps me sleep so well. Um, so if you are having a hard time sleeping or feeling extra tense, I would definitely check that out. Okay guys, so that has been all my favorites for this month. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. I will definitely be putting out videos every week again. I 
got a little backtracked but now I am back and going to put out videos every week and I can't wait to talk to you guys and follow me on Twitter and Instagram and all that fun stuff so we can chat it up okay I love you guys so much bye